Hey, welcome back to Morning Mix. All right, it's our favorite time, right? And it's even better because we are at the pool doing this. Okay, this is why we're excited. Uh, we're joined with Zach McCabe. You are a renowned Augusta bartender. Yes. All right, nice to have you on Morning Mix. Thank you so much. Thanks I love your setup you. already. Okay, so uh, tell us, what are you making for us? So today I'm going to make a Knickerbocker cocktail. So it's uh, a rum, raspberry, orange liqueur, and lime juice. Really simple. It's not as well known as it should be because it is absolutely delicious. Well, we are all about deliciousness here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So what do you have to do to make it? So I'm going to take my shaker tin. Okay. And I'm going to start by adding a little bit of orange liqueur to my tin. So any kind of triple sec, Cointreau, Grand Marnier, orange liqueur is all you need. Half ounce of that. Okay. Actually, I'm making two, so. Or three. Well, let's make three. Triple, I mean, triple you know, the dose. With us. Let's triple the dose this year. So out of all the drinks that you could have chosen to make here for Labor Day, why this one? So it's, it's, uh, it will work with any white spirit, which is one of the reasons I chose it. The other is... Uh, I feel like raspberry and summer go hand in hand, mm -hmm. and it's truly delicious. It's a very popular drink uh, down at the theater that I work at at Le Chat Noir. Um, it's been on our menu for about a year now. It's it's a it's a, it's a incredibly popular and very much a crowd pleaser. Okay, one of the favorites at Le Chat. Uh, so, how did you actually get started in bartending, Zach? So uh, it was kind of like a hobby for a while, and then it became a little bit of a side hustle, and now it's just kind of a passion. So uh, I got started when I moved to Augusta about eight years ago. I didn't really know many people, and it was kind of the way of getting to know people that were brought over to their home, be hospitable to them. And then it kind of became a little bit of a passion to an obsession of reading and consuming knowledge as much as, much as I could. And uh, eventually people started asking me to do it for them at other places. And that kind of dominoed into many other Many other gigs. The side hustle turned into a main hustle. Yeah. Uh -huh. like <laughs> and now we're asking you to make us something here on Morning Mix. Um, so we're missing a few steps here. Tell us what you just I added. I just added some raspberry syrup. So this okay. is just simple syrup and raspberries mixed together. You can mash up the raspberries. Um, I use a sous vide to make this, but you could just do regular old simple syrup, one part sugar to one part water and then um, just throw some raspberries in the tin. About five raspberries will do you. Okay, great. Now you also do um, workshops for this, right? Yes, I do. How did that get started? Uh, it started in 2019 as the first workshop I've ever did. And uh, I ended up doing it with a company called Augusta Connection back then. I was writing a, a, a weekly column for them called The Weekly Sip. And they asked me, would you be interested in doing a workshop? And I think I did it the first one ever at Second City Distillery, so downtown Augusta. Shout out to them, that was a lot of fun and uh, people really liked it. Yeah. I, I like to talk about booze and I like to make people happy. <laughs> so it kind of worked out. Well, that kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Uh, it does. No, it does. I like it. As I mean, we shall see just mm -hmm. in a second here. All right, so we've added all the other goodies. So what else do we need? So we got the raspberry syrup. So it's half ounce of the orange liqueur, three quarter ounce of raspberry syrup. And now I'm gonna add some lime juice. And it's the same measure as the raspberry syrup. So three quarters of an ounce. So I got some fresh limes here. I'm just gonna juice them up. You should always use fresh lime juice. Or fresh lemon juice in a cocktail. Yeah. You don't want to get that bottled stuff. I love it when a bartender does that thing. You just have the whole thing. You got to like get fresh. No, you're Always absolutely fresh. right. Oh, man. I, I cook with that bottled stuff. But that's fine. Now I'm rethinking uh, that, that's my decision. That's forgivable. <laughs> it's forgivable. But yeah, the, uh, the fresh is going to taste a little bit better. It's going to be a little more uh, sharp and bright. The the bottled stuff kind of tastes like wet cardboard to me, which I don't, I don't really like. <laughs> well then, all right. <laughs> uh, right Sales went much. downhill for the bottled stuff right now. <laughs> it's also really easy to juice fresh lime juice. It's not like it's a challenge. It's just you get a lime and you. Yeah. Especially when you have a device like that, though. A little little elbow juicer. Mm -hmm. So now while you're doing this with the lime, you did mention the, the Le Chat Noir and something we've talked about before. There's just all that construction that's been downtown. That, all the businesses down there in that area, they're still open. They are still open, that's correct. All of us on 8th Street, from aficionados to Humanitry, to the cafe on 8th, to the Chat Noir, we're, we are all still open during construction. Don't let the signs and everything <laughs> fool you. Head on down there and have a good time. Please do. Yeah. So when people are attending your workshops, what are the basics that they will learn? Oh, we'll, we'll learn everything from 
you know, why we use fresh lime juice to how to make syrups to what kind of spirits you should use and why. Um, we try to have a lot of fun doing it. I try to make it as educational as I possibly can. My goal is to always elevate the cocktail culture in the CSRA. So I want people when they're coming on uh, into the class and they maybe don't know a lot or maybe they know plenty, I want them to understand how to make a balanced drink and how to make a drink that tastes delicious, especially when you're going out and everywhere is, you know, you're paying 12, 13, 15 dollars a cocktail. It should be good. It's easy to make. And I'm trying to teach everybody how easy it is to make a good cocktail. They also tell you how to say, sir, you've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so the last step here is rum. It's an ounce and a half of uh, a white rum. And you can use a white rum. You can even make this drink with tequila. You can make it with vodka. You can make it with gin. Um, any any uh, white spirit will do just fine here. Okay. okay. All right, so we've had the main ingredients. Now it's just ice and shake. So shaken, not stirred. That's correct. Okay, what is the whole process between shaken and stirred? So we would shake a drink if there is a citrus, cream, or egg white in the drink. Um, we would stir it if it's mostly booze, like an Old Fashioned or a Manhattan, or even a martini, despite what James Bond might tell you. Okay. <laughs> I like to say that uh, you know the, the Vesper martini, James Bond's martini, was invented by, by an author, Ian Fleming, not a bartender. Uh. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> So we're gonna, I've never had one, so I don't know if that's good or not, <laughs> to be honest. So we're going to put our two tins together, just like that. You want to shake that one for me? Okay. Is there a certain uh, method to this? Yeah, so the trick is to get the ice to travel back and forth. Get a good hard shake, about 10 to 12 seconds. My workout for today. Oh, yeah. I feel there like we're we doing a dance. <laughs> now... When we break it apart, we just give it a little gentle tap on the seam, because we'll cover the seam up here, and give it a little tap like that. Hit right there. Right there. Uh, oh, you got it, I think. Wait, I don't have it. We'll just move him out there. I think there. I uh, shaked a little too hard there. <laughs> it was a little too much shaking on my end. So go ahead and strain that one into there, and I'll strain these two over here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Beautiful pink. And then for a garnish, we got a little lime wheel oh. here for you guys. Oh, yay. Well, all right. Well, cheers, cheers everybody. Zach, thank you. Happy Labor Day. Yeah, cheers. Happy Labor Day. Zach, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Where it's can pretty. people I find this. you online to uh, check out some of those classes? So you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at All Equal Parts and at www.allequalparts.com. Right. Zach McGay, appreciate it very much. Let's check in right now, see how everything's looking weather-wise for you.